from a combination of high as well as low energy impacts from the bowl. Bull riding is becoming as popular as sports in high school such as lacrosse, wrestling, and football. The problem right now is, is uh, most companies don't offer a helmet marketed towards bull riders. Most of the time cheap hel uh, hockey helmets are being used and this creates a problem as far as safety and uh, style is concerned. Um, revenue model. As of now, the competition has helmets priced between five and seven hundred dollars a piece, which is very expensive for high school sports teams. So our design would have to be priced competitively to gain an edge in the market. For competition, we're looking at prior, uh, more traditional low riding outfits like a cowboy hat or nothing at all. Um, this new model helmet that we're coming up with is going to clash with that, obviously, but it'll be more appealing because it'll be it'll help uh, prevent fatal injuries as well as keep the riders protected. Um, also available are uh, uh, adapted hockey helmets, which are cheaper but not as efficient, providing protection needed by the riders. And the main thing here is our head protection. And uh, our competitive advantage for this is that this helmet is being designed specifically for bull riding. It's not an adaptation of other kinds of sports protection. Um, here is a design that we're working on currently to uh, simulate an impact from a horn on the helmet. And this is our a layout of the helmet and uh, its protective aspects. Um, there would be facial coverings as well as side coverings for the ear and side of the face. And uh, if you have any more questions about this helmet or not, you can check us out at don'tgetthehorn.com. Yeah.